day. It's Mike from Flex Radio, and I want to go over the installation of version 3 software. However, there's a few things we want to make sure we take care of prior to installing version 3. Who has to buy version 3 of Smart SDR? If you purchased version 2 of Smart SDR or a Flex 6000 series radio prior to October 1st, 2018, then you will be required to purchase version 3 of Smart SDR. Now, who gets it for free? If you purchased a version 2 on October 1st or after of 2018, or a radio from Flex Radio or one of its dealers, then you're entitled to a free upgrade of version 3 of Smart SDR. Now, I'm going to assume you've downloaded it. Either we've sent you a link or you've gotten it from the download area. Uh, however, I would... Uh, we're going to connect to my radio here on 2.4.9. So we've seen this before. Uh, this is, uh, you know, Smart SDR 2.4.9. And um, what we want to do first is we want to back up our profiles for version 2. This is just a safety measure. There's a reason for doing this in case you ever want to downgrade your radio back to 2 version 2, which you can do at any time. But you'll then need to re-import your profiles. There's a number of changes to the profiles between version 2 and three that in order to ensure you still have them if you want to downgrade that they're you've got a backup of them the downgrading or sorry the backup of your profiles is reasonably straightforward we're going to go to profiles uh, import export profiles we're going to export our profiles and just hit export and say where would you like them saved uh, i'm going to make a new directory here called the 6600m Profiles, uh, you know, put it wherever is good for you, and you'll see that this is exporting. That won't take very long, but now you've got a copy, and like anything that you've developed, you'll probably want to ensure that you have saved it for future reference if so need be. We can close this window, and now we can shut down uh, Smart SDR. Now I have a copy of version 3 here. But if you're not sure uh, where to find it, we've probably sent you a, a link. But uh, also in under support and downloads, you'll see a, a bunch of things pop up. I'm going to scroll down and look at that. There's Smart SDR version 3, installer and release notes. There's nothing there yet, but it will drop open when version 3 is there. Uh, Tim's probably just working on that. And to see what it looks like, this is what it actually does look like for version 2. This is all the version 2 data. Let's close that. The version 3 data will be here and that'll probably be there shortly. You would double click on that and it would download probably into your download folder uh, and you can just run the program from there. Just for simplicity's sake and the uh, to show you on the video, I've uh, downloaded my installer. I've moved it over to my desktop uh, just for the video. I can double click and it's going to say do we want to run uh, this file. I'm going to say run uh, yes uh, for smart SDR setup and uh, this is uh, not unlike any other program you've probably installed in Windows and uh, we're just going to click our way through here. I always say create desktop shortcuts because you'll notice that the versions here are in the shortcuts here. They actually have the version of the software. You can have multiple versions of the software in your computer. Uh, there's no, le no need to delete any previous version unless you're just cleaning it up. The versions do not impact each other. So there's no, there's, um, unlike other programs, uh, there's no reason to uninstall the previous version. So we're going to click install. Uh, normal things will run by. You've probably seen this happen before in previous installations. Uh, you should restart your computer. That's always a good thing to do. I'm going to say no for the sake of the video and hit finish. Now I'll drag over my version 3 icons. They're right there. This is my installer. I'm just going to delete it so it's out of the way. Uh, I don't need it anymore. And uh, there, version 3 is installed. So let's start version 3. And it'll pop up. We will see uh, my radio. A couple of things here. The SmartLink setup 
is the same uh, as uh, you've probably played with in version 2. That's in the manual. You can look at uh, section 7. Some key things here, which were in version 2, you know, on startup, auto connect to my last radio or auto connect to smart link uh, type features. Uh, you can ignore those for now. I'm going to update this radio because it was at 2.4.9 and uh, that'll take oh about a minute or so, maybe a little bit longer. So I'll pause the video here while we wait for Smart SDR uh, version 3 with Multiflex to be installed on my radio. So while your radio is busy updating, you'll see that the power button may flash multiple different colors. Uh, don't worry about it. The update can take uh, maybe up to five minutes uh, to complete. That's uh, pretty normal. You'll now see that as I've started version three and we went through the upgrade, uh, we now have this buy uh, button. And uh, if you hover your mouse over this here, you'll see this black bar pops up and that the radio is uh, at version three um, and that the max license version is version two. This information is actually stored in the radio. Uh, if you had an issue with that and we wanted to do the details of the radio, this is the screen we want. If you were to hit right click and uh, that will come up with copy radio info to clipboard. I now have that radio info on my clipboard. Very handy to put into a help desk ticket or if you were sending us an email. So um, I need a license. So we're going to buy this license. Uh, I've clicked on buy. It's going to... Uh, bring up a browser here and uh, if you've done um, it goes to our store uh, I'm going to click one it's $199 US uh, there's no coupon there's no shipping of course uh, if you are in uh, various of the EU there is VAT tax every country is different so uh, it will be charged based on uh, your uh, your QTH uh, I'm sure most of you've been through something like this I'm going to proceed to checkout um, and that will fill in a screen. I'm going to, you'll have to fill in all this information, um, which I can do. And so once your order is complete, uh, you should see this order complete message. This is your invoice number. This will be emailed to you as well. And shortly after this, you'll be authorized for version three. So I've done that. Uh, we're going to uh, get rid of this. I'm just going to hit the refresh button here refreshing the licensing state. Now I'm available to start running version three. And we're gonna connect. And um, there we go. We're online, it popped right up. The uh, one thing I'd like to show that's a little different, um, we talked about it earlier. Uh, we have this multi-flex feature here, which would show uh, what radios are connected so as an example i said this is an m model so i'm going to connect my um uh, front panel display here on my m model and that'll take a second because i think the maestro or the front panel of the radio has to update but once it's done loading we will see uh, that pop up and there we go where we see now that the maestro front is already connected uh, also to the radio. Multiflex is just like having the ability to use Smart SDR in two different locations at the same time with the same radio. And whether that's Smart SDR on Windows PC or Smart SDR on a Maestro or Smart SDR on the front panel of an M radio. So that's uh, that's what Multiflex does for you. Uh, you. And there's a lot of things you can start playing with as well. One big change here is this TX band settings. Again, we talked about that in a previous video, but the TX band settings um, allow you to configure for each band based on your transmit profile to have different settings saved. Uh, you can uh, turn a whole bunch of buttons off in a hurry if you want, because I don't want all these. And all I did was held my left finger down on my mouse and drag them down on top. So. Uh, you can turn all these off uh, or, you know, say you wanted to, so I've got all my accessory TXs off or I want all my accessory TXs on if you were using that to switch a very specific uh, part of your uh, radio solution. So there's um, Smart SDR version 3 with Multiflex installed on a Smart SDR for Windows. 
uh, fairly straightforwardly, uh, nothing special, no big deal. Uh, the Maestro, the next time you power up your Maestro, if it's connected, it'll ask you which version to run. You want it to run version 3. If you say version 2 or 2.49, because it'll show in the list, then you'll, it will downgrade your radio to 2.4.9, because that's what you've asked it to do. And then, you know, you'll get into a bit of a ping pong battle if you bring version 3 back up on your PC. It will then want to upgrade. Uh, so make sure if you bring a, ma a Maestro online uh, to uh, version 3 that you uh, select version 3 in the software version. So that will be 3.0 something. So how do you update via a Maestro or a 6400M or a 6600M? If we check my radio here and we go to info, you'll see that we see the version number. Uh, that our max license version here is version 2, and we're currently at 2.4.9. So we're going to go into uh, Operate, and it's going to say uh, Select a Version. Now, in my case, because this is just before GA, we're going to be looking at version 3 right here. We're going to update to version 3 and hit Update. We were at 2.49. Uh, I've been told by engineering this version 3 will be at the top, so read the list carefully. Hit Update. And this may uh, operate for a bit, and as it says, it's updating step four of step four. So your update could have taken up to about uh, four and a half to five minutes. You'll get this loading screen, and then um, we're back to what looks like a uh, the same screen we saw before. I'm going to select operate. We're going to go to this. And now we have a buy screen. Um, if you do not see the buy screen, this is a refresh. We'll refresh the database. Uh, and so we're going to click buy uh, version 3. And uh, in this case, there's going to be a special link uh, just for you. So you'll have to type this into your computer. So we typed in that that bit.ly link uh, and you can see we came right up into the cart that we've seen for the purchase of smart SDR when we do it via smart SDR in a PC. So if you have an option you may find that just doing the upgrade via smart SDR in a PC is uh, by far the easiest. Uh, once you've completed that uh, version 3 will just run uh, like normal uh, like version 2 used to. And in closing please remember to back up your profiles with Smart SDR. Lastly, in order for the licensing process to complete successfully, please ensure that your radio is connected to your home, internet, and your router so the devices can call home to validate the licensing process. This only takes a moment and only needs to happen once. And don't forget our frequently asked questions at www.flexradio.com FAQ. This is Mike, 73, and thanks for listening.